Hello and welcome to my Kindle publishing course. And before we start the main course, I thought it would be useful just to know a few things about the Kindle market. So, for instance, as you can see from this web page, one in 40 people, and this is just the UK, got a Kindle for Christmas. They reckon that there were, let's just scroll down, around about 1.3 million actual Kindles were sold over the Christmas period. And expanding that to the rest of the world, Amazon said that they sold over 4 million Kindle devices worldwide. And that number of people giving ebooks as a gift was up a phenomenal amount as well. What that basically means is that the market is wide open. So that's good news for us as Kindle publishers or potential Kindle publishers. Kindle books have been outselling paperbacks for quite some time. Another thing you need to know or should know about Kindle is that it's not just limited to actual Kindles. You can read it as you can see here um, on Microsoft Windows. So I read my Kindle books on my PC. Other people read them on their smartphones and that can be phones from Apple, Blackberry, Android or even Windows phones so, and lots and lots of other devices. It doesn't have to be a phone, it can be a tablet computer, so it can be iPad as well as iPhone or any of the myriad of other tablets that are out there. So you're not just limited to people with a Kindle, not as with 4 million sold, that would be too much of a limitation, but it's not there as a limitation at all. There's lots and lots more devices that can read them. Another thing that you should remember is that most Kindles are black and white. They've introduced a colour one in the States recently, but it hasn't gone elsewhere in the world. So it's changing, but it means at the moment an awful lot of those 4 million that were sold are black and white Kindles, which oh, is the Wikipedia picture there. So that's what they'll see, that it'll be black on white, high contrast and whatever, but it's black and white, it's not full colour. The next thing to remember about Kindles is that they have absolutely no concept of page numbers. Now that's basically because a Kindle actually doesn't have any page numbers at all. That one there could be held that way up or you could hold it sideways so as though it's a landscape mode. You can also set the font sizes and if I'm reading a Kindle on my PC for instance I can set it to full screen so the page size is completely different from the small screen on a handheld Kindle device. So we'll come on come on to this again later in the course but um, when I show you how to format your book but it's just worth keeping in mind from the, right from the start that page numbers are so yesterday with a Kindle. Um, on the actual market for a Kindle books fiction is probably the biggest market but because most people find it easier to write non-fiction that's what I'll be concentrating on. Almost everything apart from researching your subject applies equally to fiction and non-fiction so you'll still get lots out of this course if you're a budding J.K. Rowling or Stephen King. So don't worry about that. Either way, it's a fun market to write for and it's absolutely massive. So that's it for this introductory video. In the next video I'll show you how to choose the market for your new Kindle book. See you there.